Welcome to day 98 of the Seeker's Guide to Soul Contact. The course consists of 365 lessons to bring you closer to spirit and soul. The theme for today is Extending the Master Mind. So how'd the last lesson go? Did you visualize your friends and your mastermind group? Were you able to see any of them in the flesh? There's nothing like sharing thoughts in person. Actually, all people use the power of the mastermind to a degree through their relationships with their innermost circle of friends, which would include the spouse. But normally, when the person gets an idea or considers a new goal, the first thing he will do is visit one or two close associates and share thoughts with them to, to see what they think. Usually they will have some advice or input. Once received, the individual will often alter some of his planning, making his, his ideas more practical. Just discussing with friends brings down more soul energy, but the interplay seems so natural that the principle involved is overlooked and only a small portion of the possible potency is achieved. Once the seeker realizes how group cooperation can manifest additional soul energy and intelligence, he can then create a mastermind and take his thinking to new levels. Napoleon Hill wrote about how many successful people created a mastermind composed of people in their enterprise. By holding meetings with them, they were able to draw down intelligence that surpassed any of them individually. And he tells an interesting story of how he took this to a higher level in his own life. He decided to create a mastermind group of famous people, even some who have, were uh, dead. And he did this by using his own imagination. There were nine people in his group, which included Emerson, Payne, Edison, Darwin, Lincoln, Burbank, Napoleon, Ford, and Carnegie. He imagined their presence as a council and used them for advice, as well as incorporating their positive qualities into his life. As time passed, they became so real that he became concerned and decided to discontinue the idea. Then something quite unusual happened. He was awakened in the middle of the night by none other than a visage of Abraham Lincoln standing beside his bed. He heard him say these words. He said, the world will soon need your services. It is about to undergo a period of chaos which will cause men and women to lose faith and become panic stricken. Go ahead with your work and complete your philosophy. That is your mission in life. If you neglect it for any cause whatsoever, you will be reduced to a primal state and be compelled to retrace the cycles through which you have passed during thousands of years. This startled him, and he immediately re, uh, resumed his mastermind group and continued to develop his philosophy. In fact, he expanded his group to include more than 50 famous people. Among them were uh, Christ, St. Paul, Galileo, Copernicus, Aristotle, Plato, Socrates, Homer, Voltaire, Bruno, Spinoza, Drummond, Kant, Schopenhauer, Newton, Confucius, Albert Hubbard, Braun, Ingersoll, Wilson, and William James. In the end, I'm sure that Lincoln was proud of Mr. Hill, for he wrote many books that inspired millions, including myself. Napoleon Hill realized that the mastermind group had supernatural powers that somehow originated through divine intelligence, but he didn't seem clear on how it worked. He just knew that it achieved results. Understanding how it works will give the seeker more power to use the principles involved. 
The mastermind works through the individual focusing on the higher mind and linking it with his higher self. The higher self then has power to send a fragment of consciousness into any thought forms you create. What is interesting is that your soul can access the consciousness of any other soul, living or dead. This is why Hill's Lincoln was so powerful and real. His higher self accessed the consciousness of the real Lincoln, which allowed him to interplay with an image that manifested the personality and intelligence of Lincoln as he existed in the 1860s. Today's assignment is optional. While you should have a mastermind group of at least several close friends and associates, an imaginary group of famous people from the past uh, is optional. If you do decide to create such a group, it will require considerable effort and time, but the benefits could be quite amazing. Whether you make the effort or not, at least think of three famous people that you admire. Bring one or more of these into your consciousness now and then and consider what advice they would have for you or what they would do in your situation. Continue with your <clears throat> mastermind of living associates, both in person when possible and by using your imagination. End this class with this affirmation. I am never alone, for all souls are linked as one great life. A lot to think about, and we will see you tomorrow.